Hello everyone and I'm back in the kitchen and today I decided I'm gonna make Easter brownies. Don't tell my daughters because they love chocolate. Let's get to it. So we're gonna start off with some chocolates okay and some butter and we're gonna let this melt together. So now our chocolate is melted. We're gonna leave this to rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna put this to the side. So we're gonna start off with our dry ingredients now. So we're gonna add the sugar. We've got some white sugar and some muscovado sugar. And we've got three eggs and we're gonna add one at a time, okay. So we're going to start mixing this in. You need to beat one egg at a time, but you need to beat this until it gets like a creamy type of texture to it. Okay, I'll show you in a little bit. So we're going to go in with the second egg. And the third and last egg. And we're gonna beat this really well until it's really creamy. But before I start beating, I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. So once you've beaten your eggs with your sugar very well, you should be getting this consistency. I'm gonna just show you. It's whitish and creamy, All right? You wanna add your chocolate in now. So I've let this chocolate cool down for about five, 10 minutes. Now I'm just gonna incorporate it in my mixture. Now we're gonna mix everything together. So to this mixture, you're going to add your flour and your cocoa powder and now you want to switch to your silicone spatula because you just want to fold it in and not give it any more air. So we're going to go in with sieving our flour and our cocoa powder together. Now we're just going to fold in the coca powder and the flour. So this is what it should look like once you've folded everything in. This thick, rich chocolate paste. And we're going to butter our pan and put this in the oven. So we'll butter our tray to put in our paper. Now we're gonna add our glaze proof paper. So I've cut the corners of my paper 
so it fits in the tray really fits the tray properly okay so let's just and we're ready to put our brownie in it's thick and rich brownie goes in the tray needs a little help And we're going to spread it can be a little fiddly because this is quite cake okay that's fine just spread it evenly as as evenly as you can so after you've spread it evenly and it's all in your uh, tray what you want to do now is just Tap it a little bit, okay, so that it gets even. And we're going to put this in our oven at 170 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Because we want to get it out just as it's finishing cooking, because we're going to add something special to this, okay. So let's get this in the oven. So our brownie has come out of the oven. It's had about 23 minutes. While it's hot, I'm going to add... Um, I've got this little Easter uh, chocolate eggs that I'm just going to add on top and some almonds, okay? So I'm going to start decorating this. So we're going to start adding and I want to just press in. we'll be back to cutting them and plating them so our brownie has been resting for about 15 minutes it looks so pretty it has all of these easter eggs on them and my daughters are gonna love this so i'm gonna start cutting them into squares and our easter brownies are finished Look how pretty they look, full of almonds and Easter eggs, and they're just gorgeous. Your kids will love this. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you loved our videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time.